Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this simple and sweet looking Valentine's Day animation into After Effects. Now, this is not just for the Valentine's, you can also use it for creating some birthday animations or you can say an anniversary invitation or something like that. I just thought of creating on a Valentine's Day cause you know Valentine's Day is just two to three days from now so I wanna create one for them, one for the couples or you can you know dedicate it for your partner or something like that. I don't know. So yeah without any further ado let's get straight into the video and let's see how to create this awesome thing. Alright so here you can see I have some images that I downloaded from Google so you can just you know go and download it. I'll put the link in the description. They are pretty simple one. One is the heart image that is a heart PNG image. One is a petal. And you can use balloons as well as you saw in the birthday one preview for the birthdays you can use balloons and other kind of stuff it's just not necessary and you have a background image that we will add in the background so yep we are good to go let's create a new composition which is going to be 1920 to 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds good enough and let's just name this our main comp this is going to be our main composition so first I'm going to go ahead and create our text animation. So to do that I'm going to select my text tool and type in whatever you're going to type in. I'm going to type in happy Valentine's Day. And by the way I'm using the Bellico font. I hope I pronounced it right. And let's just enter this. And we can also scale this a bit like right over there somewhere on there and yep then we can go ahead and create a new solid and name this saber and by the way i'll be using two plugins that is the saber which is a free plugin and one is the trap code particular which is a paid one i'll put the link in the description so you can go and download the plugin or you can use a trial version as well to create this and hit ok and then i'm gonna add saber Then let's go to the customize core settings and change the core type from saber to text layer and then we can just select our text layer that is the happy valentine's day and we can just play around with the glow maybe i'll just decrease it it's too high for now maybe somewhere around there make it kind of a dark pink kind of thing depending on what your text is and what your theme is you can set the color according to that i'm gonna set the intensity to let's say two and bring down the core size to 1.5 that looks pretty good and then I'm gonna bring down the halo size and intensity to 0 and let's see what we can do right over here and yep very important we need to set the alpha mode from disable to enable mask like so and then go to render settings and set the composite settings from black to transparent so it's transparent like so you can see and then we just need to increase the core softness all the way up to 20 and there we have a really nice looking text maybe i'll make it 22 or maybe just keep it 20 20 was fine yep that is looking really nice Maybe I'll just play around with the roundness. Maybe I'll just set this to 1. Yep, and then what we can do is we need to animate the start offset. Just when it's done. Or maybe we need to animate the end offset. You can hide the text and then animate the end offset so that it gets revealed like so all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to animate the end offset so i'm going to set this to zero create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch go to let's say two seconds and set this to 100 then i'm going to hit u to see the keyframes just Control c to copy it go to six seconds and hit Control v to paste it then right click go to keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes 
so we have a fade out animation as well we can just select them and hit f9 to ease them and we should have our really nice looking text animation let's go ahead and add a background hit ctrl y for the new for creating a new solid and let's just name bg background just place this in the back and there we have a really nice looking text with the background then we can also go ahead and drag in our photo about the background solid and it's quite a big photo so i'm just so i'm just going to scale this down to maybe around there maybe 35 yep that looks fine and pre-comp the photo just name this footage so that you can use a video as well if you later want to add a video instead of an image so you can use that as well and change the opacity down to 50 yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just set this to 12. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Maybe I'll add a little bit of animation to the text. So I'm going to add animation to scale properties of the text. So I'm going to go to two seconds maybe. It has to bring down the scale properties. And just drag this at the very beginning. Go to around eight seconds. And maybe I'll just scale this down or scale this up to 210. So we have a really nice and subtle scale animation as well. Yep, that is looking pretty fine. Now let's go ahead and create that hearts and petals which come in like particles and flow in into the screen and so to create the particles what we need to do is we need to create a new solid and we'll just name this particles hit ok and we can just solo this up and add particles that is particular so we have our really nice particles and now we, what we need to do is before going ahead with and playing around with particles we need to create the texture for our particles and to create that i'm going to create a new composition and set the width and height to 300 by 300 pixels and call this texture and then we can just drag in our heart or not our heart the heart image scale this down a bit somewhere around there go to maybe three seconds and this crop this up by holding alt and close bracket then drag in the petal image scale this down and crop this up using alt and close bracket so this to somewhere around there and then go to six seconds and just crop this up now the reason i'm doing this you'll come to know in a second so now let's go ahead in the particles let's play around with some settings all right so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to particles and set this and set the particles type from sphere to a sprite and then i'm going to change the texture from none to our texture now i forgot drag in my texture comp so i'm just going to drag it right away here and we can hide it we don't need to see it go right away here and set this from none to texture you can see we have this really cool looking not really cool looking but we have this little hearts right away here. then we can change the current time to random still frame like so then i'm gonna go into particles per second and I'm going to animate this so I'm going to go to very beginning of the comp and create a keyframe by heading on the stopwatch at 100 particles or maybe let's just set this to 120 particles hit U and hold alt and control and just click on the stopwatch so this is going to create a I don't know what it is called but kind of a you know kind of busy if I go to keyframe assistance and 
keyframe interpolation it's called a hold keyframe oh yes a hold key a holding keyframe yep and then i'm gonna go to let's say two seconds and set this to zero and now we have two holding keyframes so that there is no animation between these two keyframes so we have this you can see the hearts come in and just fade out like so now it's not looking that great right now but we need to fix this we have we're gonna fix this and make it look really nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the particles or maybe into the emitter and change this from linear or and change this emitter type from point to box and then set the emitter size x to 1920 and emitter size y to 1080 because that is our comp size now if you are creating this in 1280 into 720 composition go for 1280 into 720 and change the emitter size z to 1000 for the depth and then what we need to do is i'm going to select the particle effect and just drag this layer right over here somewhere on there and then i'm going to go into particles change the life per second to five seconds change the change the size to around 12 and then change the size randomness to around 50 so we have some randomness then go to size over life i'm going to select a preset maybe this one then i'm going to go to opacity randomness and i'm going to set the opacity randomness to 10. Look, now you can absolutely play play around with this settings and you know have fun with this you don't need to just follow the exact same settings so i'm gonna go into opacity over life and set the preset to this one and yep that is pretty okay for now now what we need to do is in order to make the particles flow in one direction i'm gonna go into physics go to air and increase the wind y position to let's say 400 so now we have oh i'm sorry for that increase the wind x position for to 400 so now we should have something like this which looks quite okay not that great yet but we're gonna we, but we are getting there step by step we can also increase the turbulence field to let's say 10 and the effect position to 10 all right and then i'm going to increase gravity a little bit to let's say maybe eight just a little yep that looks fine let's go to particles and i'm gonna add some rotation randomness to this thing so maybe i'll just set this to 40 or yep that looks fine the 40 looks fine to me let's preview it and see yep that is looking really nice maybe a bit more 45 yep that is looking really nice now in order to give a little bit depth to these particles i'm going to go and create a new camera maybe select a 35 millimeter preset and i'm going to hit ok then hit aa to bring down the camera properties and turn on depth of field set this to let's say somewhere around 1300 and increase the aperture to 100 so it gives a little bit depth as you can see if I just unsolo this layer. You can see we have depth in our scene. So I can just maybe I'll just set this down to 1500. Yeah, that looks pretty okay. It looks really really nice. Maybe I'll add a little bit of more opacity randomness to this thing. So to do that, I'm gonna go into Capacity, randomness, there we are. 
maybe 50. That looks pretty good, maybe 35. You need to play around with the settings and see what fit for you. So let's see what we have. And yep, this is looking pretty nice. You can increase the particles if you want to. Just go in the very beginning of the timeline and increase the emitter particles per second to whatever you want to. If I set this to let's say 500, it's going to emit more particles. As you can see. And if you want less particles, you can just set this to, you know, 100 again or 120, whatever you want to go with. I'm going to set this to 120 for now. Because I think that looks pretty nice. And you can always change the texture that is the hearts and the petals to anything like a balloon or anything that you want to actually. So let's give some final touches to this thing. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Name this CC for color correction. And add a curves to it. Maybe a little bit like so. Somewhere around there. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it, make it a bit dark, and increase the red. And this is going to be our vignette. So I'm going to just select this, select the ellipse tool, and just double click on it invert the mask and increase the feather to all the way up to 600 and there we have this really nice looking vignette and which makes it look really really nice so as you can see that this is looking really really nice you can also increase the aperture a bit maybe just to give a bit more depth so maybe i'll just set this to 150 yep that is looking pretty good you can also add motion blur to the particles you can just go into render settings motion blur set this to on and maybe 350 and there we have a motion blur you can add this but i do i don't recommend it if you want to you can just go for it or you can just turn on the comp settings and turn on motion blur in your comp like this as well So yeah, that is a wrap for today. It's really simple and easy to create and I hope this will be helpful to you in some or the other way and, and if it helps you, make sure to subscribe, comment and like this video and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.